Software Spring Presence How to use NPER in Google Sheets Hello and welcome to the tutorial on the NPER function. Here's an introduction to the NPER function. NPER stands for number of periods. The NPER function calculates the number of payment periods for a loan or investment. It's time now to look at the format of the NPER function. All right, let's look at an example. Rate is the yearly interest rate in percent. Payment amount is the monthly or yearly payment amount. It has to be entered as a negative number, indicating it as the cash outflow. Present value is the loan or investment amount. Future value is optional, and is the value remaining after the last payment. End or beginning is optional, and can be equal to zero or one. If it is zero, it means payment is due at the end of each payment period. If it is one, it means payment is due at the beginning of each payment period. Okay, here is an objective to use the NPER function. To get the number of payment periods for the monthly payment of rupees 114.55, the interest rate of 10.80%, and the loan amount of rupees 3000. First, I will type the loan amount in this cell. The interest rate has to be input as a percent. So, in this cell, first I will type 0 0.108. Here are the steps to format this as a percent. Click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click percent. In this cell, type the monthly payment amount. Alright, type the NPER formula in this cell. First, type equal to N P E. Select NPER from the menu. For the interest rate, click this cell. Because the interest rate is the yearly interest rate, it has to be converted into a monthly interest rate. So, let's divide this by 12. Type comma. For monthly payment amount, click this cell. Type comma. For the present value, click this cell. Press enter. There you go. The NPER function has returned the number of payment months for this loan. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.